welcome back guys to another Minecraft survival video on the Adults Craft Bedrock server and as you can see we are back still down in our industrial sort of zone or crop farming area whatever you call it um, there's the melon and pumpkin farm we finished up last time as you can see I am kind of been slowly ripping out all the stone and replacing it all with this lovely grass just to make it a bit more well, make it look a bit more friendly. It has turned into a massive passive mob spawner. But, yep, as you can see, Melon Farm is working fine. But we have this other line now in as well. Because today we are going to work on the Cactus Farm. So, over on stream, um, I have basically dug all this out. Again, go and follow me. I go live um, Monday to Thursday afternoons. Um about half to um, UK time to do lots of things on it so as you can see I have dug this out I've got a couple of rows in just because I was needing some more cactus to be able to complete it so I figured I'd get it going um, and we've got this lovely glass box around it which I've kind of put the roof on but I've stopped just till the farm has completed so if we jump down You'll see we've got our project box again. So if we grab some cactus, we're going to need a, some string as well. And I have got one of the sand shocker boxes. I've got loads of torches from ripping out the ground. I do need to go and get that finished rather sharpish. But let's have a look. So I've gone up. I'm not actually sure how much I've gone up. I just kind of went up till it looked about right with the wall and all the other buildings here. Um, how high you go doesn't really matter to the farm. Um, same with how deep you go. I just sort of went down till I thought it would look right. So as you can see, I've just got water streams pushing over to the sides. I've gone down two for these water streams just so that I can have this kind of design here. So that I can, oh, if we go forward a bit, so you've got this kind of step up. So the water source is actually on this block here with the two buttons there holding it in the ice. That will just mean that anything coming in won't get caught if it lands directly on the ice. It will still all go around this way. And then, as you saw, we've got the pipe up at the end taking it all up. I did have to do some jiggery pokery to get it into the bubble vator because of where I put it and then plan it through. But it's like right in that corner there. So getting it round kind of was a bit of a pain. But got it there, it's fine. Could have probably, if I planned it out, I would have done it differently and pushed it back or over one or back one or in the middle or something. But it doesn't matter, it works. And I'm not going to be building anything down there that will get in the way. So what we will also need is some, not that, some scaffolding just to make life a bit easier. Hopefully I can put it down... There, now I'll stop us floating about. So as you can see, I've kind of run two rows of string. So the idea for this farm is that the sand is technically sitting on the string, but really it's just flowing. So uh, what we've done is I've come one off the wall on both sides and put a basically ran strong string, strong, strong string all the way down, or nearly all the way down. I ran out, but um, so the first block is one away from both of the walls. And then you kind of just space them out with a gap of one between them. Um, the way I've done it, I could only get two, but it's fine. Because it's pretty tall and it's pretty long as well. So I shouldn't have any issues. Let's go up a couple. So basically, to do this, all you want to do is leave one gap. So it would be that one. And then plop a block of sand on it. We'll do them both at the same time. And then it's cactus on top. If you stand on top of the cactus, you don't get stabbed, which is quite nice. And then on the side of the cactus, put another bit of string like that with sand on top. And that's basically it. Same with over here. Just hold shift or press your couch button if you're on the controller. And place one in. And then there you go. And that's you next level already. And you can kind of just work your way up. The way I've done it, I've kind of been just offsetting them and zigzagging them up. You do need to be careful you don't fall off because the cactus is not a full block. So you have a little less space. But if you're quick, you can jump up them as well because you can land on the edge of the block below. So you can kind of climb up if you fall off. But 
it's easier just to take your time, work your way up. This is the kind of method I've been doing it, so that I can get across between the two. Uh, uh, oh, no, don't want that one there. That one's in the wrong place. So you've got to be careful that they do go in on the side of the cactus and not on the top. Like that. So that you're getting this. So basically as the cactus grows, it will try and grow up. But then because there's a block beside it, it can't stay. So it will pop off. You will have seen that it won't. It's not like 100% efficient. It's not lossless, etc. But when you're building to these kind of scales and... If you're wanting one as simple as that, so yep, see I just fell off. So what you can do is you can jump on the side of the sand block and then back up on top of the cactus. So if you do fall down, it isn't too big a deal. Um, but what was I saying? Right, it's not lossless because sometimes you'll get one that will fall, say this one grows, it will just pop straight back on top here. Um, or you'll get it that it will pop across and land on the one over there somewhere. But it does produce pretty well and when you put a bit of scale into it, you do get a lot from it, so I wouldn't worry too much about it, and it's a nice simple design, if you've got one of the iron farms running, or you've got a spider spawner, then string's very easy to come by, um, I've got boxes of it now, because the iron farm with all the cats, same if you've got a fish farm or something like that, you'll be getting loads of string from those, so you don't really need to worry about it, and that's us up at ground level already, so, we'll finish this row off quickly. And there I fell it down again. So you can jump up. You do take a wee bit of damage, but it's cactus. It'll take ages to kill you if you've got any kind of armor on at all. Did it again. It is quite hard to do, especially with the speed boost I've got on the beacon. I might go and turn that off just to make things a bit easier. But it's just that simple repeating pattern of ups and downs and alternating them backwards and forwards. Like that, string beside it, sand on top. And so I think what we'll do is we will go away and cue the music and we get this thing filled out completely so let's go back as you can see we've got plenty of glass on the go now to finish up the greenhouse and we have gotten all the cactus in so what I'm going to do is finish decorating it now so we just need to get the glass on the roof and then figure out what I'm going to do if I'm going to put on Oh, what we could do is we could take this, we should have some more of that um, grey concrete, we could run that around the edges and see what happens. Where's my glass box? There's there. So, let's plonk these down. We'll offload the glass there now, because it's just going to take up space. There we go. 
and create, yeah, got plenty of grey concrete. So what we could do is take out these corner ones. And have and do the same here. Oops, probably shouldn't have swapped out my sword for the glass. So then we could have the grey concrete running along here. And then we'll chop this out. Might give it a bit more structure to it. Let's just pull this up. And take a look. Yeah, that's going to give it a bit more solidarity and some shape to it. Because this glass is kind of empty and open. Oops. I did not mean to take that one out, I meant to take that one out. I'm breaking all the wrong things here. So let's just get this filled in. Just take that out. And step back and have a look at it. Yeah, I think that fits in quite nicely. Fills the space up quite neatly and it's not too overbearing. It's nice having a bit of difference in height and in design. But what we will need to do probably is try and pull the grey concrete round into the buildings that are going over there. But that shouldn't be too big an issue. That should be quite make them quite look quite good. Um the grey and the darker colour will make them look a bit more industrial as well, which is always helpful. So that'll do us for today. As always if you liked the video do hit that thumbs up button. If you've got any ideas for other farms that we can build down here let me know down in the comments if you've got any designs for our process and building up at the end there also shoot me them and if you're enjoying the videos do consider subscribing and i will see you next time goodbye